went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Again, we must keep in, in mind that we're in that part of the Gospels, St. Matthew, that the events for things that we today call Holy Week, that started about six weeks ago with those confrontations between the religious authorities, the chief priests and the elders, and Jesus did those three parables at the time and everything. So this is during Holy Week. We're getting close to Good Friday when he's saying all these things. So you kind of put this in context and you realize that they're getting pretty angry at him some. And you can see how it pulls over on Good Friday. Now, we got to remember too that every parable is a particular type of story that's not about what it seems to be about. It's about something else. Although it helps to know something that's in the parable to understand what you need to take from it. But even though this scene seems to be about a wedding, it's not really about a wedding at all. It's about our spiritual relationships with God and one another. In fact, whenever you see the kingdom of God, or in Matthew, the kingdom of heaven, because Matthew remembers very sensitive to Jewish sensibilities, and so he doesn't like to use the word God, so he uses heaven to replace God. You know, what, what you're really saying is the reign of God is like this, or this is how God really acts, or this is how our relationship with God is meant to be like. And then you learn from the parable how it's meant to be like that. Okay? In the old translations of this, by the way, they used to say bridesmaids. And they're not bridesmaids. Uh, in, in, and really, they were relatives of the groom. Typically, his sisters or cousins. And you couldn't go outside in the dark without having a lamp. We don't realize how it is because we've lived over in the time of flipping the electricity on, but how dark the world was. At night, particularly at night. I mean, you can see the hand in front of your face. So you had to have a lamp to go outside to get around. So these people were supposed to lead the bridegroom and his party from his house over so he could collect his wife and take her eventually to his home to live from that point forward. Because during the betrothal, they both lived in their own places. They were not supposed to have sexual relations with one another. And they were considered to be committed to one another. Now, keeping that in mind, think about Joseph and Mary's situation when we get to Advent and Christmas. How that would have caused all kinds of problems. Okay, that's the first thing. Uh, so he's going over, Jesus picks up the parable where the groom is going to go over to pick up his bride. And we still have that in today, you know, Pick the bride up and carry over our threshold is a sign. So that's kind of a leftover from that. Okay. Now, it talks about these foolish virgins. Um, the word in Greek is the word we actually get in one of Dr. House's favorite. Remember House, the show House? He called everybody a moron. The Greek word there is where we get the word moron from. So, Jesus is saying that there's five foolish virgins were really morons. And the reason why they were morons, they knew how this thing worked. And they still didn't do what they needed to do to be prepared for it. Does that sound like us? 
We know what we're supposed to do to be prepared for our death and the end of the world. But don't we kind of like, I'll worry about that mañana, tomorrow. <coughs> I'm not totally committed to that. I know the Beatitudes, I know the commandments, I know the law of love, I know all kinds of stuff, but I can worry about that later. You know, I'll somehow get through. Well, it doesn't happen that way in real life. Now, I think there are two universal warnings you can take from this parable. One is that some things can't be obtained at the last minute. The real question we have shouldn't be why didn't the wise ones share their oil? That's very, you know, in thing to think, completely correct thing to think. But that means that maybe their oil would run out and they would still be delayed longer and they wouldn't be there doing what they came to do. So they, they won't share their oil with these other people who are too much of a moron to be prepared. Okay? And also that some things can't be borrowed. For example, our relationship with God. We can't borrow that. That's ours. We can't say, well, our wife is really committed to going to church all the time. You know, no, we can do anything else. No, we have to have that relationship to God. And the moral I think that Jesus wants us to get from this is that we need to strive to be clever in our relationship with God and be prepared. Notice that in Luke's gospel, he keeps telling his disciples to be industrious in spiritual things, just like the people of the world are industrious in worldly things. We have to put an effort in. In Matthew's gospel, and we see it played out in this thing, he has Jesus say, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven, he will enter therein. And it's right in here. When those women come back with their, uh, with their oil, they say, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. And what does he say? I don't know who you are. Go away. The door's locked now. You can't get into the celebration. And there was a celebration going on in there, and that's the groom came to get his wife to take her home and that kind of a thing. So that's really, uh, I, uh, I think, the point to be made. Be prepared. Strive to be clever in our relationship with God, just like we'd be clever with the stock market or something else. That kind of thing. We just can't say, okay, I hate to say this, you'll get the Protestants mad at you. just can't say, Jesus is our Lord and Savior, so now I'm a, I got a done deal. I'm saved. It doesn't work that way. And Jesus keeps telling us it doesn't work that way. And he says that over and over and over again. So I want to end with one little thing, and then I'll shut up. You know, Matthew always likes to turn these into allegories, these parables. Okay. Where things mean one and only one thing. So I came up with this. The bridegroom would then be Jesus Christ. His bride is what? The church. This is right. We say that all the time. The church is made up of wise people and foolish people, prudent people and moronic people. It's all together. Jesus makes the sun shine and rain on the just as well as the unjust, Jesus says over and over again. Okay? Okay? Okay. The lamps could be our faith, our relationship with God that we need to keep lit all the time. Remember, at baptism, we're given a lighted candle, aren't we? That we're supposed to keep burning bright all the time. But then, what's the oil? The oil could be our good works. Our good works keeps our faith alive, helps us grow in the faith. Think of the epistle of James, right? You want to know about, about my faith? I'll show you the good works that undergird my faith. So I think it's a very, very simple, direct, be prepared, be willing to work, be industrious, and create a relationship with God the way it should be.